after he came in. Thank you. And sorry I had to get off, but actually this is great news. Um, so for me, understanding that, you know, our culture is the gem of the universe and that everyone's making money off it by controlling it, it was important for me to be an independent company that could make my films the way I want. But the issue is after you make the films, they have to be distributed. People have to see them. So you're independent here, but then you got to kiss ass there. That's no bueno. Recording uh, in progress. So what I did was I started my own, and I, you know, I've been building apps for a while. And what I do know is building an app from scratch is not the easiest thing because it needs a lot of maintenance and it has a lot of bugs and it's not the easiest. And, um, you know, I went and populated, um, a Vimeo white label, it was okay. But at the end of the day, what I wanted the app to do, I had to build myself. I built it myself with another builder. They're called Sopranos. And I'm not satisfied with it. Even today, right now, I just poke the plug like I'm sick of y'all, you know, because it's embarrassing. Um, to have people come to a site that looks good, but doesn't work good. And you didn't deliver me everything. And, you know, there's just no accountability. But the good thing, and what I was also noticing is making someone pay for a subscription is not the easiest thing. You know, it's really hard to make somebody go through all of that and pay. Especially when there's all these other apps that other people will pay for. <clears throat> so what we found was that we need distribution but we also need a sales team. If you don't have a sales team, you don't have no ads. YouTube ads, all that, it's not enough. It's no, no good, no one. I don't care what anybody says. Amazon, garbage. I don't like it. It's not enough. You don't get your money back. You can't make another movie but $3 a month. But I do like Tubi. So Tubi is free. They're powered by Fox. And they have distribution. So we were able to put movies on Tubi and they've been able to generate lots of income. Now, with that said, I'm like, it, it, that's it. You just need distribution and you just need ads. So then I'm like, Fox Soul, they have distribution. They're, that's Fox. They have a footprint of distribution as well. They have ads. It's a Fox slick sales team. So recently, based on our performance on Fox, we merged with Fox. And conveniently, when these people are pissing me off, I poked the plug today because I'm like, yo, either way, I'm putting all my stuff on Fox this week so that I can have the same payout as Tubi for everything. We actually become Tubi. Yes. And now we have Fox as partners. So what I'm saying is, whoever has films right now, I am and Omar is the plug. You don't have to kiss nobody's ass. I got Fox as a partner. I have the distribution. Swing it over here. And it's free. Conceptually understand where we're at in the world today. <clears throat> Back in my day, I'm 50. Cable TV was HBO. You paid for that. Free TV was NBC and Fox and so on and so forth. Cable TV was good, but free TV was always way better because it's free. Even to this day, if you're on an NBC or a Fox, free TV is way bigger than cable. So, today, Netflix is HBO. You pay for that. Tubi is regular TV. And so is Fox Soul, Game Dash Studio. It's syndication. It's the way Oprah made all her bread. Byron Allen made all their bread. But they had to rent the space on a cable network and go partner up and have someone do the ads and they make the content. I, the secret of all things is having a sales team when it comes to having a network. Oh. I talk to Byron Allen. I talk to everyone that, of, of color. That has mm -hmm. a network, they'll tell me everything. But when I say, yo, what's up with the sales team? That's when they got to go. Okay. That's when the other line clicks. That's when you lose reception. No one will pass their sales team plug. But I will. And so well, can I? Well, I, I, I will 
also wanted to, um, you mentioned some things. Yeah, Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, you mentioned some things that actually, historically, Douglas Holloway, who's on the line, when we started cable, he was one of the pioneers of getting cable, for people getting cables. And this man, I definitely want you to hook up because he has a wealth. He's like a walking dictionary. And he got a sales tip. He's a walking roller yeah, deck. Yes, yeah, that's the first thing. Yeah. Call at me, please. Okay. So I want definitely to definitely put you to connect with him. Brian, you don't because even I'm, understand. It's the, he, the hardest thing is getting a sales tip. Am I right, Douglas, to, to offer that, that conversation up? Because no, he definitely right. has the information. So I, want you the know, the, I don't want to know how. I want the direct connect to the salespeople. I know okay. what to do. I don't have the plug to the people. Okay. I know what I need. Okay, sure, sure. But that was great. So we have um, covered all Thank of you, the- Any questions, Omar will handle it, I promise. Okay. I, got, okay. I got such big plans for sports. I can, okay. I, give, I can give TV rights now. You know what I'm saying? I can give great. distribution. I can play a Kwanzaa Film Festival whenever I feel like it. Thank you. you know. <laughs> Definitely. I can give you a space. What, what do you want to do with that? You can do it in Gary. You could do it in Gary's LA. Great. You could do it in Florida. Florida Gary, you got movie Florida. studios all over, all over the state now. Omar will tell you everything. I don't want to start. Okay, great. Uh, Thank you, know. you so much, Dave. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank if you anyone, anything that helps, I will help. Just get, we get love you, Dave. Thank you. We love you. Love you too. Trust me. Omar? Oh, and we'll be on yeah. 7 o'clock Fox Soul tonight. If you oh, want yeah. to see what I'm talking about. Every day. Every day. Every day. That's five days a week. Okay, that was great. I got that. Oh, I got that. Um, you know, one take here. You're gonna get the Quasi Film Festival all over the place. But I enjoy working with you all because you all came through from the pre Quasi Film Festival to um, several events. I really appreciate the damn Dame Dash Studio coming through, and every in and UKW Media and Digital Media Rights all coming through. Tony Abulo coming back. He was with us in, in year 2017. But now I would like to hear a little bit from you, Omar. Well, um, uh, hello, everybody. Um, it's, it, you know, it's hard to follow up um, after Dame, you know, but um, I am uh, the head of acquisitions for Dame Dash Studios. I've been blessed um, to be given this opportunity. <clears throat> I, I am a filmmaker um, as well. Um, so 